And we're learning more about the suspect in Colorado who shot at two administrators at his high school. One of the victims remains in serious condition this midday. ABC's Malalangi has the latest. This morning, after a massive manhunt, authorities confirming they have discovered the body of the 17-year-old gunman accused of shooting two administrators at his high school in Denver. At approximately 8.15, the Jefferson County SWAT team searching the woods located a body. Investigators say the gunman, identified as Austin Lyle, was found near his SUV, the vehicle about 50 miles from the school where the shooting happened. We need two buses and we need two stretchers inside. The two victims identified as Gerald Mason and Eric Sinclair. Overnight, Mason released from the hospital in good condition. Sinclair remains in serious condition. Authorities say that just before 10 a.m., the shooter was undergoing a daily safety pat-down due to previous behavioral issues when he opened fire. During that search, which took place away from other students, away from other school staff, they did produce that we weapon and fire shots. The student then fled with the gun. Obviously, he is armed and dangerous and willing to use the weapon. Many of the students were in an assembly when they were put on lockdown. They had to cut the performance and then tell us that we were actually on lockdown. Others seeing first responders from their windows. That's crazy, bro. You saw them being placed in the ambulance and all that? A lot of people did if they were in the library or anything with like windows. Parents and family gathering outside the school waiting for word. How many school shootings do we have to have? You know, this is going to affect our kids the rest of their lives. Just six weeks ago, Luis Garcia, a student here, was shot in his car near the high school. He did pass away um, earlier this month. Do you guys feel safe? Not really. It's hard to not have that in the back of your mind, not have escape routes ready to go whenever something breaks out. I rushed over here for the fourth time this year to get my son out of a lockdown. It, it's got to stop. I can't take it anymore. School resource officers were removed from Denver Public Schools in 2020 in the aftermath of the George Floyd killing. But after Wednesday's shooting here at this school, the school district announcing that school resource officers will return to Denver Public Schools at least through the end of this school year. Mola Lange, ABC News, Denver.